Hey everybody, what are you guys doing? My name is Buddy Blackford and today in After Effects CS6 I want to go over the pre-compose options. So there's two different options that you can select when you decide to pre-compose a layer. For example, if I go to pre-compose this layer, we've got these uh, two options here and I'm gonna go over what these mean because um, these little uh, uh, these little captions here that are underneath that describe it don't really give you a good idea what's going on So I'm gonna have to show you to so you know what is happening. So I'm gonna show you what I did real quick because um, Different things are affected by the uh, different pre options So if I look at this layer here and I press U to bring up everything I've keyframed I've got um, a position move I've got a mask that I just put in there and um, I increase the or decrease the scale so this is just a simple animation and I just threw these in here randomly I didn't even care how this mask was moving as long as there was just a mask in there and then I also added just a, a fast blur in there just so I could have an effect on there so when I pre-compose you could see what happens when there's an effect and then I've got this other layer above it which is the same exact thing just duplicated so these two are the exact same. Now what I'm gonna do is I want to end up pre-composing this layer so I can fix some problems that I might be having rendering. So sometimes you might render and something isn't looking quite right and you're like what is going on and you figure out what layer it's it's screwing up on so one of the ways you can try to fix this um, because it's usually a program error and not user error when this happens when you're rendering and everything looks nice but it renders out crappily is to pre-compose the layer and there's two options you get which I'll show you again so just you can just right click on the layer and go to pre-compose or you can come up here to layer and come down here to pre-compose and you can see that control shift C is the hotkey so let's uh, pre-compose this and when you only pre-compose one layer you can you have these two options av available for you leave all attributes in text which uh, my uh, main composition is called text so whatever the name of your main composition that your layer is in is going to be right here or move all attributes into the new composition um, nine times out of ten I use the move all attributes into the composition um, but the leave all attributes in text also uh, has its uses so let's uh, let's view those so let's go to move all attributes into the new composition first and see what that happens and I'm gonna name my new composition move and my other one I'm just gonna name leave so I hit OK now what it's done is created a new composition and if I open this up we've got our layer in there. Now if I press U then I can show everything that I have keyframed and my mask path position and scale have been moved into the new composition as well as my effect that I have up here. So there we go and you can see that. Now if I go if I go back into my main um, my main comp here and I press U to reveal my properties that have been keyframed. I pressed U right there and uh, nothing is showing up. I can twirl down and I don't have any of the properties on the actual um, composition now. They're all inside of the composition. Now let's, uh, this is a duplicated layer which is the exact same thing. So I am going to turn this layer on and I'll show you that it's the same thing. See and we have our uh, effect up there so now when I pre-compose I'm going to choose the other option so I'll bring this down here so you can see it better and I'm going to select leave all attributes in text and hit OK now it has created a new composition again for us I'll open it up real quick and uh, this is what it looks like now and within this composition nothing is happening anymore see there we go and if I press U to review my keyframe properties they're not there 
I try to open this up and nothing is there. My mask isn't there anymore. If I click on it, you can see that the effect is not there and that the position and scale keyframes aren't there. So let me go back into my main composition here. If I press U, you can see that all the properties are now on the pre-composed layer. See, as we can see here. And um, that's the main difference. My uh, effect is up there. Now, say some of your uh, keyframe properties weren't working that well and you didn't really want to change anything else or whatever, try one of these two to pre just pre-compose the layer and uh, that may possibly fix some of your render problems. So, I mean, that's all I got have to say about this. It's um, only two options, so not a lot, of, not a lot extra to say about it. But um, just a like a troubleshooting tip there for you guys to figure out what's going on with your renders. So thanks for watching this one. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Have a good one, everybody.